Hi there, everyone, and thanks for being with us on KXAN Live. I'm Will Dupree coming to you from the KXAN Live studio. We wanted to jump on here and share an update. We've reached the conclusion of a case that began back in 2019. You may remember the case involving Megan Fiera Muska. She was accused of killing her best friend and stealing her newborn baby. Now we know that a guilty plea has been entered in today, and Megan Fiera Muska has been sentenced to quite a lengthy prison sentence. Joining us right now is our digital reporter, Sam Stark. He's here in the KXAN Live studio after being in court today through this hearing. Sam, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me, Will. And as you said, it's been a really long, drawn-out trial, and it's been a very devastating uh, case for both the um, both the Broussard family um, and everyone involved. Uh, so today, uh, Fira Muska pled guilty to murdering her best friend, uh, Broussard, um, and kidnapping her daughter in 2019. Um, and Travis County District Court Judge Selena uh, Alvarenga sentenced her to 55 years in prison uh, for the crime. And as we see right here on the screen, as a part of this plea deal, Sam, the charge for kidnapping was dropped in this, right? Yes, yes, that's correct, Will. Okay, and so Megan Fiermuska will spend 55 years in prison, and as a part of this deal, she's waived her right to appeal this conviction at a later time. That's also correct, yeah. Okay, well, we got statements in from the district attorney, Jose Garza, and uh, we're going to read this in full just for a moment here. He said, we're hopeful that this outcome will bring some closure to the Broussard and Kerry families and help them continue their healing process. This out outcome will save the families from having to endure the difficult post-conviction litigation process. Jose Garza's statement went on to conclude, we are grateful to our prosecutors and law enforcement partners who worked tirelessly on this case and secured justice for the victims' families and our community. Sam, a lot of people are familiar with this case. It drew international attention, really, and a lot of people wanted to see how this would conclude. But remind us where this all happened and what unfolded back in 2019. Yeah, so um, giving some background, Megan and uh, Heidi were friends uh, since they were preteens. They met at a mm -hmm. church camp um, in Texas. Uh, uh, Heidi announced that she was pregnant um, in 2019. And then shortly after, Megan announced that she was also pregnant to her boyfriend at the time. Uh, her boyfriend said that her stomach what grew and hardened, but because their relationship was a little bit rocky, he never saw her bare stomach. Um, uh, later, um, after uh, Heidi gave birth to her child, Margot, um, uh, Megan uh, eventually took Heidi and uh, strangled her. Um, and took uh, the, the baby Margot as her own and presented it to her ex-boyfriend as her own child. Um, the police found um, Heidi's body stuffed into a car that was registered to Megan. Uh, Megan was later arrested. A very sad story. Yes, and terribly tragic. This is video from earlier today uh, during this plea hearing and uh, the sentencing for Megan Fira Muska. And today, after she entered in her guilty plea there and the judge read uh, the sentence, Sam, we also got to hear from Heidi Broussard's mother. And uh, for those of you who were looking at that video earlier, this is Heidi and her young daughter here, some uh, old pictures of that. But uh, the a part of this hearing, uh, Sam, was that we got to hear from Heidi Broussard's mother, but didn't necessarily see her, right? Yes, that's correct. So the judge asked the media not to film any of the uh, the victims as they gave their uh, victim statements uh, addressing Megan, who um, was there to get sentenced. Um, so uh, it was just uh, Heidi's mother, Tammy, who went and spoke up addressing both the court um, and also Megan. Um, but there were uh, uh, nearly a dozen of, of Heidi's family members and friends that were there to hear um, the sentencing process. They also brought a, a large photo of Heidi, um, a, a smiling Heidi. Um, the mother had uh, the mother and uh, family and friends have had uh, a bunch of amazing things to say about their daughter and friend. And obviously, the loss is is an immense one and hard to to quantify. Well, we're going to listen in now to that victim impact statement. The court allowed us to record on that, so we're going to share the audio with you. Remember, you will not see Heidi Broussard's mother, but you will see the reaction from Megan Fiera as that statement was read. Let's take a listen, and we'll continue our conversation on the other side. This statement is about my daughter and who she was and how her life she touched throughout the life that she was here. 
highest hugs were strong, full of love. They lingered in the atmosphere. I still feel them now. She loved beyond measure, and she never gave up on anyone. When I think of her, which is every moment and everything I do, I ask, what would Heidi say or think, or think? It gives me comfort. Even when I cook, thinking of her gives me peace amidst the pain. And she loved Christmas. I wouldn't miss her dearly. She's forever strong in the midst of all of the people people's lives she touched. And she'll never hold me. Forever. This is something I never imagined in my whole life. Me and my husband did ever want to love him. Our children would ever face with her because she was just so much fun and she was so full of life. And now it's been taken from her. And again, that was the victim impact statement read during the sentencing hearing for Megan Fiera Muska. You heard there from Tammy Broussard, who was the mother of the victim in this case, Heidi Broussard, a uh, digital reporter for here at KXAN. Sam Starks joining me back here in the KXAN live studio. Sam was in the courtroom today for this particular hearing. and. You know, we see the reaction there from Megan Firamuska. She was crying during Tammy Broussard's statement there. Did she happen to say anything of note during the hearing today? No, she, she did not give a statement. Um, the only words that she uttered were just that she pled guilty to the charges that were presented today. Hmm. Okay. And just remind everybody what unfolded today if we're just, people are jumping into the live stream right now, just go back over what happened today in court. Sure. So um, today, Megan uh, Fiermuska pled guilty to murdering her best friend, uh, Heidi Broussard, someone who she's known since she was a preteen. Uh, they went to church camp together um, uh, nearly 10 years before Heidi Broussard was murdered. Um, Travis County District Court Judge Selena Alvarenga sentenced her to 55 years in prison for that crime. Um, part of the plea deal was uh, including dropping the kidnapping charge, uh, Megan uh, Fear Muska kidnapped, or sorry, uh, she she took Heidi Broussard's child um, after Heidi Broussard was murdered. Um, so part of that plea deal was dropping that charge. And again, this all stems from an investigation that began in 2019. Uh, what happened in this situation was that the police, Sam, found Megan or found Heidi Broussard's body in a vehicle behind Megan Fear Muska's home there in in the Houston area. Yeah, and uh, this is, again is the conclusion of that, and we have more information about this case over on our website right now on the homepage of KXAN.com. Sam, thank you again for uh, reporting about this and putting out those details and joining us this afternoon. Sure, thanks, Paul. All right, everybody, you can read Sam's reporting from the courtroom over on our website, KXAN.com. Also access it on the KXAN News mobile app that you can download onto your smartphone if you haven't done so already. I will also... Just want to give you all a little bit of a heads up. Uh, the city of Austin will hold a news conference at about 5 o'clock this evening uh, to give an update about the ongoing ice storm and the coverage about the power outages and what situation uh, they're experiencing at this point. So please keep it with us on KXN for that. And we have more details about those resources and the effects of the ice storm over on our website too. Uh, once again, I'm Will Dupree in the KXAN Live Studio. We'll see you back here another time, everybody. Please stay safe and healthy and warm out there. Take care.